Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so it's time for another new releases with KK video. I missed a few on my last video. I guess they dropped like right after I did my video or same time I was doing my video. And so it might be a few things in here that you guys already know about from prior, but I'm gonna talk about them anyway. But yeah, I want to go ahead and check out some of the new releases. I'm trying to decide Okay, now that's good <laughs> Yes, I am chilling today, you guys I have my little Stella Rosa Which one is this? Tropical Mango Okay, I've never had that one before So that's what we're working on today But yeah, I think I'm going to start out with indie makeup spotlight this time my girl amy you know she keeps us in the loop with new indie releases so and this one caught my eye this one here is from a brand called copacetic cosmetics i've never heard of copacetic cosmetics okay basket case beauty it says the elysian palette is available now for 32 dollars. you can use the code basket case for 10 percent off and that's a cute little palette. I mean, it's not necessarily my color scheme. It's a little bit cool for me, but it's a cute little palette. I don't know if I would pay $32 for it, but you know, any brands, you end up paying a little bit more. So yeah, that is something that actually caught my eye. Here we have the Fiesta Mexicana palette from Chixi. Another brand I've never heard of, Shop Chixie Beauty. That's why I like Amy's um, Indie Makeup Spotlight page because she finds all these brands that I've never even heard of. That's a cute little palette. It has a little Mexicana, Mexican theme. It's cute. I like the packaging. It's only $16. It's not too bad, okay? And it says it's available now. So, yeah, Shop Chixie Beauty. That's a cute little palette. I mean, I'm not getting it, but it's a cute little palette nonetheless, okay? Now, you guys know Makeup Geek is doing a whole rebranding, so we're getting all these little sneak peeks and stuff of these single shadows that she's going to be doing, and a lot of the color schemes look really, really nice. I'm really curious about you know, the new pricing that's going to come along with the new branding and all the different things that she's going to offer. But yeah, it's looking kind of nice for Makeup Geek. So yeah, it looks like Makeup Geek is going to be dropping their whole new rebranding on the 17th of January. So that's kind of exciting to see that coming up. Now, this is one of the palettes that had been announced that I missed on my last video. This one is from Sydney Grace. And this is the Enduring Love palette. It's a nice looking palette. It really is. I've never tried anything from Sydney Grace. Um, so I kind of have my eye on this a little bit. I'm not sure though. Now, there are two versions of this palette, a lighter one and a darker one, because, you know, she wanted to kind of cater, I guess, to different skin tones or different preferences. You know, some people don't like their shadows to go that deep and other people do. So just a few of the shadows have been deepened in this palette. Now, Kelsey Brianna J, I just watched a video that she did trying out that palette she actually used one of each palette on each eye. So you can see they looked pretty similar to me. But, you know. Now, this is something that really caught my attention from Cleonaut Cosmetics. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Is it Cleona? Cleona Cosmetics. Um, it says Koala Charity Trio. Now, this is really pretty. I'm not really like a gray or cool tone type of chick, but these shadows look really pretty. It says these three single shadows will be launching January 21st at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for $21. Not bad. Well, it's kind of like, you know, you hear $21. It's not a high price, so it's like, okay, that's not bad. But when you think about the fact that it's only three shadows and that's seven bucks a shadow. So 
you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, okay. No, it says 21 CAD, approximately $16 USD. So $16, uh, still kind of up there. It's a little over five bucks a shadow. No, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll pay five bucks for a single shadow if I really want it. So it says 100% of the proceeds are going to be donated to Wires Wildlife Rescue. Oh, and Wildlife Victoria Emergency Fund to benefit the wildlife affected by the Australian brush fires. Yeah, that alone will make me buy it. I mean, you know, I love when companies donate and you know do good and this says a hundred percent of the proceeds mm. Mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna buy that one i'm gonna buy that i like it and i like to you know i like to contribute in any way i can and that's really sad what's going out there with all those fires and stuff is really sad so yeah i'm gonna buy that one okay Ooh. okay suva beauty hyper color collection launching january 22nd um, it says it appears to retail for $35. So I'm assuming um, the little white glittery shades that those are like duochromes or, you know, shade shifting or something. Because they all look white. So yeah, I'm assuming, ooh, excuse me. I'm assuming those are like duochromes. I mean, the colors look pretty basic to me as far as, you know, whether they're neons or whatever so it's not anything that's really appealing to me nothing i don't already have so i mean it's cute or whatever but i won't be getting it dominique cosmetics okay this latte 2 palette i mean i'm getting irritated just looking at it because even though i said i told my girls i was not paying that much for the new trend mood box that came out that had this palette in it I was still thinking about it, okay? <laughs> I was thinking about getting the box. And by the time I finished thinking about it, which was about 10 minutes after the box dropped, it was already sold out. So, yeah, whatever. But, yeah, I was considering it purchasing the Trend Mood box, which had this palette in it. Now, will I purchase this palette on its own? I don't know. But this is what the Latte 2 palette from Dominique Cosmetics looks like. It says there's two lip glosses in Creamer and Java launching on January 24th. I think it's cute. At first glance, it's kind of like a little bit of a snooze fest. But when you consider spring is coming up, the little pastel side, that's kind of cute. It is. And the other side, um, you know, you can get you a nice little neutral look with a really, looks like a really pretty shimmer on your lid. So... I can I can see that palette working out really nicely if you like those colors and if you like her formula. Dominique Cosmetics, people pretty much either hate it or love it. I personally like it. <laughs> I can't say I love it, but I like her formula. It's nice. So I don't know. That that I don't know. Definitely won't be getting the lipsticks. Last thing I need is any type of lipstick, lip cream, lip gloss, anything. So but the palette is a maybe. I'll have to check it out if it's in stores for me to swatch. Okay, so it looks like Dose of Colors is coming out with uh, some new lip sets. Each will include one liquid matte lipstick, one stay glossy lip gloss, one velvet mousse lipstick, and one lip liner. Okay, so that's a full-on kit right there. Retails for $39, launches January 16th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, that's kind of cute. I like the, which one does it say? Truffle and Stone. Which one? I like the one on the bottom, the one that's kind of like peachy toned. That is really pretty, okay? The lip liner probably wouldn't work for me, but the lipsticks look like they are really really pretty um $39 for what three lip products and a lip liner that's not bad actually it's really not uh yeah I don't know I don't know y'all know I'm on a low buy shoot I'm almost on a no buy to be honest with you but <laughs> 
but yeah that's kind of cute i don't know i think that might that one might look kind of cute hmm so it looks like give me glow okay the ones you can hardly order a palette from because they forever sold out is coming out with some new loose shimmer powder highlighters is that a highlighter it says loose shimmer powder so yeah it's a highlighter will be launching next month twelve dollars and fifty cents each hmm i mean they're pretty i'm not really into the loose i have loose highlighters that just they're sitting and collecting dust so i definitely would not buy another one i don't care how pretty it is but they look pretty though they really look pretty so i mean you know ColourPop has those but maybe theirs are special okay so i think that's about all i want to talk about from amy's instagram i will go ahead and list her instagram down in my description box so you guys can check it out and go and follow her and everything because she really does keep us up to date on the new indie releases and as you see indie brands that i've never even heard of okay so let's go ahead and move on to trend mood okay so first thing i see here is some lipsticks and this is from lawless satin luxe classic cream lipsticks they look nice but <laughs> Not too many of them that I would be able to use, I don't think. Now, it says here that they're free of lead, parabens, mineral oil, retinol, palmitate, and synthetic fragrances infused with nourishing oils, waxes, and vitamin E in eight shades. Um, They look really nice. Is there a price on here? I've never purchased from Lawless. They are available today. Actually, I'm filming this on the 14th, so they're available today. Uh lawless and sephora yeah i don't see any prices so i'm not that familiar with this brand i'm not getting any of them but they look nice they look nice enough nice opaque matte shades i'm not interested okay so this is available for pre-order who's ready for spring beautiful packaging from is it Chanticale? Never heard of them. Chanticale. Inspired by the flickering magic of the hummingbird's colorful wings. Limited edition. It is a hummingbird eye quartet. $72. Huh. A glimmering peach highlight matte neutral brown base. Cool shimmering slate liner. Chromatic gold with iridescent pink pearl all over lid. Perfect Blur Finishing Powder, $80. Okay, so this brand is expensive. Okay. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me check this out. Yeah, $72? No, I'm good. I'm good. $80 for finishing powder? Yeah, no, I'm good. No thanks. Okay, a little bit of skincare. Prism. 5% BHA Exfoliating glow facial by herbivore botanicals oh, oh that's pretty that's really pretty <laughs> facial treatment that transforms skin to look radiant and bright with a potent blend of 20 percent fruit-based ahas and five percent bha 58 dollars hmm. this might end up in the boxy charm with them prices okay a slight tingle and or mild redness upon application is normal. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Okay, yeah. Y'all know I ain't getting this. Not for no $58. Uh -uh. Yeah, I I catch you out of my boxy charm, okay? But yeah, no. It's pretty though. It's really pretty, but it ain't that pretty. Oh, see, I missed out on these talking about it in my last video because who was it one of my faithful faithful viewers too said she got caught up she had her eye on these little elf miniature palettes oh i'm sorry i don't remember who it was but i know you're a faithful viewer <laughs> um but yeah i missed out on these on my last video elf cosmetics they have these bite-sized eyeshadows in eight different palettes for three dollars 
three dollars okay y'all know elf is mad affordable and these palettes look super cute okay elf is trying to get them a little bit of pigmentation in they line up and for three dollars look y'all know i'm on a low buy so that's like right within my budget okay <laughs> I'm probably gonna go see if they are in the drugstore because I want to try them, especially the one that has the pop of blue. Uh, the green one is really pretty. The uh, all of them are pretty. I mean, for three dollars, hello. Shoot, you can get all eight of them for what twenty four dollars? Can I still count? It's been a while. <laughs> but yeah, you get all eight of them for like twenty fours to max. So. Honey, don't let me find these in the store because I just put in an elf order for a few things. So I probably won't be ordering again for a while. But yes, I definitely, definitely want to try these out. And I will pick these up <laughs> long before I will pick up those Fenty Snap, Snap Palette Shadows things, okay? Yeah, long before I get the Fenty Snap Palettes. What are they called? Snap Shadows? Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm not getting no. But these cute little elf palettes, yeah, I'm going to have to grab them. Okay, so Jouer has a new essential high coverage concealer pen. Interesting. Very interesting because I don't know how I feel about a concealer pen. It says it's available on January 16th. You can get 15% off with code TRENDMOVE at Jouer Cosmetics. Now... When Fenty came out with her matchsticks, you know, I got the the trio or whatever. And one of them, I think it was Saddle. The shade Saddle was for under my eyes. And I really don't like using any type of stick or pen type thing under my eyes. I just feel like it tugs and pulls. So I'm very curious to know just how creamy these concealer pens are. You know, if they're nice and creamy and you can blend them out easily or if they're kind of stiff and dry. So yeah, I'm curious about that. I'm also curious about the price. How much are these things? Mm, I don't see no price, but with it being Jouer, it's probably expensive. So yeah, I doubt if I get that. Okay, Tati. <sighs> Tati is coming out with some powder puffs, okay? <laughs> I know they're not called powder puffs, but you get two different sizes. It's called the Blendiful. Cute little heart shape and what is that? A rounded edge triangle. Very, very cute. $18 for the pack of two. I don't, I don't, I don't use powder puffs. I don't. I mean, they're beautiful, but I don't like cleaning my brushes. So I know for sure I wouldn't want to clean a powder puff I don't care how good it works and I guess she's claiming that you can use it for your whole face cream products powder products everything you can use it for everything on your face now me personally I'm not interested they're super duper cute um but after using it one time and having to wash it that would get on my nerves you know it's, it's hard enough washing a beauty sponge so I think it's really cool. I actually thought that she was going to come out with a powder when I saw these little puffs. I thought she was coming out with an actual powder. So I wonder if that is going to be next. But yeah, they're, they're cute. I'm not getting them because just the thought of washing those is getting on my nerves. So yeah, no, not for me. <laughs> what would a new release video be without some color pop? Okay, of course. ColourPop just came out with a whole new collection. This is the Mint Collection, okay? Get your eyeshadow palettes, your Super Shock shadows, you know, everything else. Glitterally Obsessed, Matcha Love Set, Matcha Face Milk, Lippy Scrub. So, yeah, it's a whole complete set going on here. Um, That palette is not appealing to me at all just because it's so light, you know? I mean, for certain skin tones, I think that would be perfect. If you don't like the Just My Luck palette because it's so deep and dark um, and grungy, then you might like this 
Meant to Be palette. I think the name is cute. Meant to Be, that's really cute. They are really pushing these face milks. I wonder, have any of you guys used the face milks? Can you let me know if they're any good? You know, I really like good skincare, but I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about this trying the skincare from ColourPop. But I am curious about those face milks. But yeah, they have the Super Shock shadows, the glitters, the just all kind of stuff, you know, for their regular pricing as part of this kit. I'm not getting any of it. Morphe. Morphe has revealed a new palette. Is it available yet? I don't know. I'll have to keep looking. But it's the Icy Fantasy palette. Now, the packaging is really cute. The packaging on that palette is really, really pretty. Now, when you open it up, that's another story. Now, for me, it leaves a little bit <laughs> to be desired. But that's only because I'm not really big on pastels. Some people, if you're really big on pastels, then you might really like it. It's really pretty. But I don't need a whole big Morphe palette full of pastels. That I don't need. It looks like there's some glitters in here. Available January the 16th and it's $25. It looks like they're launching three lipsticks as well. Kind of pastel type shades. On the lipsticks, does it say? Let me see if I can find the pricing on the lipsticks. Yeah, the lipstick trio is $18. Yeah, if you like pastels, you'll probably like that palette. Me personally, yeah, I'm good. I won't be getting that. I don't care how cute the packaging is. I don't want it. You can save 10% with the code TRENDMOOD. <laughs> so... Yeah, lipsticks, 18 bucks for the three pack, 25 bucks for the palette. So it looks like Milani, along with the foundation that was announced, is coming out with a whole line of skincare makeup or skin friendly makeup. Is that what they're saying? Green Goddess Collection, Sleeping Mask and Primer, $20, Glow Oil. $20, Transforming Lip Balm, $10, Rose Collection Face Oil, $14, Sugar Lip Scrub, $10, Butter Lip Mask, $10, Lotion Primer, $10, which is a Walmart exclusive. So it looks like they're coming out with a whole hodgepodge of new products. And I mean, these drugstore brands, they pricing is like... Shoot, I may as well take my behind the Sephora. But <laughs> no, it's not that bad. But yeah, these prices are really getting up there. But the quality on a lot of drugstore prices is going up as well. So I can't be mad at it, you know. I can't be mad at it. So yeah, I might have to try out some of these things. Y'all, I still haven't decided on what my rules are for my low buy, you know, my budget per se on my low buy is but I do really want to get back into the drugstore I haven't been in the drugstore looking at new releases and drops and stuff in a long time and I'm really kind of craving that now I'm kind of Ulta and Sephora out even though Ulta is you know has drugstore items I'm talking about CVS Walgreens Rite Aid Target Walmart I have not been shopping at those places so I really want to get out there and kind of see what's with the new new for you guys. So that might be a lot of my low buy purchases is new drugstore. So let me know down below if you guys are interested in that because I really want to kind of get back into the know as far as what's going on in these drugstores because I feel like I'm so out of the loop with new drugstore releases and that's not even cute. Okay, it's not cute. Okay, Hourglass Cosmetics has a cute little lipstick set coming out for before Valentine's Day. Um, it says, High Intensity Refillable Set includes two exclusive shades in the sleek gold applicators. Confession Ultra Slim. Hmm. Decorated with a festive heart and it comes encased in a pink, red, and gold box. That's cute. It was real cute until I got to the price. $72. Okay. Look, I know 
hourglass, expensive, all of that good stuff. But $72 for two pencil thin lipsticks? <sighs> There's some brands where I completely understand why I would never try them out. Because I would never pay $72 for two lipsticks. I don't care how cute it is. No. No. It's cute though. But no. Ooh, okay. Fenty Beauty is coming out with some new creamy long wear water resistant pencil eyeliners in a rainbow of 20 matte shimmer metallic and glitter shades for effortless no limit looks that last that last $22 each. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. Y'all, I don't know. I guess I'm in a cheap mood today. But yeah, no, thank you. $22. I mean, I know it's fancy, but come on. It's an eyeliner. It's an eye pencil. 20 shades. That's a nice range. A very nice range. I might just have to go into Sephora and swatch them all. And if I fall in love with one, then okay, maybe I try one out. But yeah, $22, that's a lot for an eye pencil for me. Y'all have to understand, I get my eye pencils from like the beauty supply for like $1.99 or Wet n Wild or ColourPop or something for like five or six bucks. So for me to pay $22 for an eyeliner, it better really rock my world, okay? But these are available on January the 16th. So if you're interested, keep your eye out. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, so it looks like there's a new brand on the scene, or at least one I haven't heard of. It says here by Georgie's Cosmetics, a collection dedicated to help save our world and make you look beautiful. With this collection, they intend to donate. <laughs> they intend. Wait, wait, hold up. What do you mean they intend? Either you are or you are not. Nah, that right there, that word right there just told me, uh-uh, don't trust it. It says they intend to donate part of the sales to an organization dedicated to preserve our environment. Do you know how many holes there are in that sentence? They intend to donate part. Like, I need specifics, okay? Like, you know, the other one, where with the three eyeshadows, they are going to donate 100% of the profits. Okay, so I feel comfortable with that. But not this. They intend to donate part. Nah, I'm good. It says each palette includes 15 eyeshadows with three different formulas, matte shimmers and glitters for $23 each. Fire, earth, water, and air. First of all, these exact same cookie cutter palettes have already been done by Delancey and Affiano and I purchased mine from Amazon for $9.99. Okay, you guys, look at those palettes and tell me they're not the same as these palettes that I already own that I paid $9.99 for. The green one. The orange one. The purple one. The blue one. Now, am I crazy? Or are those or are those not the exact same eyeshadow palettes? Cookie color palettes where you go and slap your name on it and your logo on it and sell it. That's what they are. And I'm not here for the we intend to donate. No, thank you. They cute or whatever, but I got mine for $10, so I'm not paying $23 for those. So. But that's it, you guys. That is all for today's new releases. Hopefully you enjoyed hanging out, checking out these new releases. Maybe you went and grabbed you a little drinky drink as well, <laughs> okay? But yeah, that's it for this week, you guys. I will see you on the next episode of New Releases with KK. Toodles.